You never know, this right here might be the start of an all new series on Van City Van Life called Roadside Talks and Thoughts with Chrome. Yeah, we're parked right on the side of a main highway here and I got something on my mind and before I used to write these things down and then come back to this topic a little later and discuss it. But it was never like real and authentic at that time. So currently I have this massive list of things that I want to talk to you guys about. But every time I read that list, I'm not feeling anything I wrote down. So now I'm going to try to talk to you guys. I don't care where I am roadside. We're just gonna get this thought out and talk to you guys about it. So today I wanna to talk to you guys about friendship. Friends. Losing friends because of van life. Is it something that you really need to freak out about or is this something you should just not care about? Because hear me out. Have you guys told your friends you're moving into your van yet? Have you told your friends you've thought about it yet? What's the reaction been? Have your friends been very supportive or have they been super negative? You always get those friends that are like nye, 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 saying, I think you're being irresponsible, you're too old to do this, and think about your health, and blah, 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 and all this other just nonsense. Every time they open their mouth, they drag you down a little farther away from the goal that you want deep down in your heart, because you want it, because you're spending time out of your day right now and watching videos like these ones so something in your heart is dragging you that direction don't let that negative friend drag you back down to their level inside of their dark comfortable bubble just saying that because why else would a friend try to talk you out of doing what you want to do why would anybody want to talk somebody down from making a drastic life change for something better for themselves why? Oh, that's, I know why, because they don't get you. Because that person probably isn't as much of a close friend as you thought they were. Sure, that friend was okay when you and them were just in your usual bubble, doing the usual day-to-day -day things you've always done for the last 10, 20, 30 years. But the second you break their comfort zone, their negative part goes, me, 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 me. They don't get you anymore. It's the easiest way to put it. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because anybody I have met on my travels, they get me. And any friendships that I've made where I've had like one day's worth of conversations with them or a morning worth of conversations with them, there's a really tight bond between you and them. Because they're living the life that you live. They're calm, they're peaceful inside just you know and they got this just good aura to it like just nature has calmed them as a person making the connection that you and them feel together real the connection is authentic and I've spent half a day with somebody and now I got friends in that town anytime I ever want to go there I got a friend I'm gonna go out and just say this bold statement the friends you will make when you're on the road traveling will be way deeper friendships than the ones you've had your whole entire life. Unless you're lucky and you got that those friends that just get you. I got old friends of mine like that that just, just totally get me. You know what I mean? But those are also the ones when I'm like, yo, dude, I live in my van. They're like, what? You crazy bugger. You go do you, homie. I got your back, man. Whatever. Just go do your weird thing. That's a real friend. Those friends don't care what you do. They just want you to go be you. That they get fulfillment and excitement in their own life watching their friends out doing crazy stuff that they would think only a maniac should do. Living in a van, you crazy bugger. But that's a real friend. If you do have those in your life that are trying to pull you in a different direction, you might want to reevaluate that friendship. Because if they don't understand you now, and are on that wavelength with you now, then they're just, maybe you outgrew them. And that happens in life, you know, you guys, like when somebody keeps progressing forward and doing different and amazing things in their life, and then you got that one friend who's just in that bubble that doesn't like anything different outside of that bubble, you can't break normal because they freak out. And that's what you're doing with that friend. You're breaking normal for them and they're freaking out. 
oh no, oh no, you can't do this, you have diabetes, you can't live in a van. They just, all these excuses, they do what they can to pull you back down to their comfort zone, to their level where you finally give up on van life because your friend said it was a dumb idea. Don't listen to those friends, don't. Please don't. Don't listen to friends or family that do that because family do the same thing. And think about this, not everybody has to understand your journey. Not everybody has to understand what you do every day. You have to understand what you do. As long as you can wake up every day with a smile on your face, that's all that matters. You're living your life, not their life. So if you have to lose a few friends or have a few family members say, get out of here, you crazy maniac, you're not family anymore, then so be it. At the end of the day, it's you you're gonna have. When the time runs out, it's gonna be you. You and your thoughts. And as long as you can lie there and be like, ah, time's ticking. My clock's unplugging in 30 seconds. And you look back, I'm like, woo, hoo, hoo, hoo. And you get that last, yes! My life was epic because I lived it for me. So don't sweat the friends that you're gonna lose because it will happen. And I know when I've talked to other van dwellers, they do lose friends when it comes to jumping into van life because everybody's on their own journey. But think of it this way. People also lose friends when somebody gets married and has kids and then their life changes in a different direction. Like I've had that happen to me a lot in my life because I'm a devoted single guy, I've been a nightclub DJ, and a lot of my buddies that were in with my zone at one point got married, had kids, now they're off on their own side. I don't feel like I lost a friend, I got an acquaintance now and then if I wanna ever call a buddy, say, yo man, we haven't chatted in a while, wanna go for a beer? You know, you won't consider them tight friends anymore, but I think the world has less and less of those friendship-like bonds like that. I know I do. I've got some really great friends back in Vancouver, like super good buddies, buddies that get me. Buddies that I could not see for a year and if I phone them, they'd be like, yo, <laughs> let's hang out. But that's a real friend. So when you got that one in your, in, in your life running the mouth, it's time to reevaluate that friendship. The ones you'll meet on the road will understand who you are, what you're doing, and that connection with them will be beautiful. Like, I even met some people over a one-hour conversation from Quebec that I would probably end up being friends anytime I ever go to Quebec. They'll be like, yo, seen you on Instagram, you're coming to Quebec, you better be coming to have beers with us. Because they get me, and because of traveling friends, it feels really cool to have friends all over the place. So think about that. When you get out on the road a little bit and you happen to be like three towns over from you, just say you don't plan on traveling very far, but three towns over you meet some people that live local because you met them traveling and they understand who you are, they get you, they've invited you to their home or you just met up at the beach somewhere. You're now making friends all over the place instead of the one town that you live in. Trust me, traveling friends have such a bond. Like such a bond and I love it. And it's those friends that if you ever bumped into them, it'll be the biggest hug you've ever had from a friend in your life. All right, everybody, sharing, sharing some roadside thoughts. I'm actually going down to get some pizza and a beer right now because I'm tummy so hangry. So um, hope you guys enjoyed my roadside chat. <laughs> actually turned out to be a pretty good place to make a video. Sun's in my face, beautiful day. All right, everybody, take care of yourselves and live life for yourself and just chase that dream, baby. Chase it! All right, stay weird, you guys. Bye. I wonder where Cruz is. Let's find out where Cruz is. Oh, yeah, go figure. Really? Ah, <laughs> oh, big stretch, buddy. Sorry to bother you, bro. Hey. All right. Ugh. Ugh. Man, I love being on the road. I don't feel lonely being on the road. And if you are the kind of person that really needs friendship or companionship, go sit down and have beer and pizza like I am right now. Because I feel like having a chat with somebody. So I'm going to go sit down at a bar, order pizza and a beer and chat that bartender or waitress's face off. Yeah, or get a dog. Get a dog.
dog will always be a good friend. Me and Cruz, we have we have some pretty deep conversations. He sleeps most of the time. Anyway, we're babbling. Hope you enjoyed this little chat video. Peace out. Bye. You thought I was gonna go in for the kiss, didn't you, you little perverts? Bye.